Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Saturday, June the 16th. The scripture for this service, Psalm 27, Numbers chapter 3, verse 1 through 13. And at this service, we will pray for our enemies. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. You are my light and my help. Whom should I fear? Alleluia. Psalm 27. You are my light and my help. Whom should I fear? You are the stronghold of my life. Before whom should I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. And though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. And though war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask, for this I long, to live in your house all the days of my life, to savor your sweetness and to behold your temple. For you make me safe in your tent in the day of evil. You hide me in the shelter of your tent. On a rock I am secure. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me. And I will offer within your tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and I will make music for you. My God, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek God's face. It is your face, O God, most high, that I seek. Hide not your face, dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon nor forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, you will receive me. Instruct me in your way, on an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see your goodness in the land of the living. In you I hold firm and take heart. I hope in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Numbers, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. This is the lineage of Aaron and Moses at the time when Yahweh spoke with Moses on Mount Sinai. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab the firstborn, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the anointed priests whom he ordained to minister as priests. Nadab and Abihu died before Yahweh when they offered unholy fire before Yahweh in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. Eleazar and Ithamar served as priests in the lifetime of their father Aaron. And then Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and set them before Aaron the priest, so that he may assist them. They shall perform duties for him and for the whole congregation in front of the tent of the meeting, doing service at the tabernacle. They shall be in charge of all the furnishings of the tent of meeting and attend to the duties for the Israelites as they do service at the tabernacle. You shall give the Levites to Aaron and his descendants. They are unreservedly given to him from among the Israelites. But you shall make a register of Aaron and his descendants. It is they who shall attend to the priesthood, and any outsider who comes near shall be put to death. And then Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, I hereby accept the Levites from among the Israelites as substitutes for all the firstborn that open the womb among the Israelites. The Levites shall be mine, for all the firstborn are mine, when I killed all the firstborn in Egypt, I consecrated for my own 
all the firstborn in Israel, both human and animal. They shall be mine. I am Yahweh. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints in trusting one another and all of our lives to Christ. In thanksgiving for the mercy of God, retreat these last few days. In gratitude to the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia who have been our hosts. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God of all, whose Son commanded us to love our enemies, lead them and us from prejudice to truth. Deliver them and us from hatred, cruelty, and revenge. And in your good time, enable us all to stand reconciled before you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.